Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. Hey, this is my final entry into the How to Make a Cowboy Hat uh, episode, I guess. Learning lesson, whatever you want to call it. I'm here with the finale of my hat. Now what I've done, is I've, remember I told you I was gonna shape it. This is what the shape, the shaping does. Okay, when you sew it back on there, it kind of gives a point to it. Now, one, one thing you gotta keep in mind that when you're sewing the bottom onto the brim, right in here, you wanna make sure you don't sew it tight. You wanna sew it with some slack. Here's why. Because of finagling this hat band in here like I did. Now, I told you I was gonna, I, I had thought about doing that braid in there and I wasn't sure whether I was gonna do it or not. Well, I went ahead and I said, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and, and, and I, and I did it, and then uh, I figured, uh, actually, before I did it, I got it wet and I stretched it. So what I did was I just soaked it in the dog water dish and got it got it wet where it was kind of stretchy. I put it on my head and I could kind of press out on there, put stuff my fingers in there, make it a little bit bigger. And then I, I went ahead with uh, punching all the holes uh, all the way around, and then I did the braid uh, on all the way around as you can see if you can see through that copper wire and stuff and that's what I did to, is I, instead of making a hat band I actually made the hat band part of the hat so therefore you can throw it around ain't gonna go anywhere and I used uh, Bisbee turquoise uh, on this uh, particular hat band because I like the uh, contrast of the bright blue uh, compared to the uh, the other kind of strands I had were a little bit more faded this one was quite brilliant and it kind of made a nice contrast to the hat now you got to remember that when you, you you get it wet and you fold it to where you need it you just leave it there it's like drywall you get it there and you just leave it right and then when it starts to get almost dry then you put it on your head to get it to size because you'll still have a little bit of stretch you'll be able to pop it in there and get a little bit of size in there and if you want you put like a paper towel or something there maybe get a little bit bigger if you're you know got a big head or something hell i don't know um but anyway i wanted to show you all the sh the finished product and all i did was curl up the sides here like that to get it and i tied tied a string around it and uh they stayed up sharp like that and and it and it dried just uh as pretty as can be so there you have it you too can make yourself a leather cowboy hat i showed you in four easy steps how you can do it cut it out punch your holes, lace it together. You can cover up any one of your mistakes by doing a little flourishing on here. You know what I mean by flourishing, making it, making it pretty. Uh, you can cover up any mistake. So if you make a mistake in the little run, it don't matter. Look, I got a, I got a slice down the leather right there where I, I, I thought I was gonna cut it too small. Well, in the long run, that hat is so freaking beautiful that you ain't gonna notice that little scratch down the side so now just remember tenacity is what's gonna make you an artist you're gonna be able to make a hat just like this following my instructions just be tenacious about it it's got to get done the holes are gonna get done eventually it's gonna lace is gonna get through the more you get done one step at a freaking time that's all you gotta do be safe Desert Artist, out.